Hi, my name is Vishal. Today we are going to discuss how to find the squares of numbers close to 10, 100 and 1000. First category. Find out the squares of numbers close to 10. Let's take an example. Find out the square of 7. Step number 1. Deciding base value. Base value should be a number which is near to the given number and on which we can easily apply mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Step number 2. Finding out the deviation. Deviation means difference between the given number and the base value. Here the difference is of minus 3. Why minus 3? Because given number 7 is 3 less than base value. For deviation calculation, we have to subtract base value from given number. That means 7 minus 10 will give us minus 3. Step number 4. Finding the unit digit. For unit digit, you have to calculate the square of deviation. Here, the deviation is minus 3. The square of minus 3 will be 9. So unit digit will be 9. Step number 5. Finding out the tenth digit. Tenth digit will be addition of given number and the deviation. Here the given number is 7 and the deviation is minus 3. So 7 plus minus 3 will give us 4. Final answer will be 49. Let's take one more example. Find out the square of 16. Step number 1. Finding the base value. Here base value will be 10. Deviation will be of plus 6. Why plus 6? Because 16 minus 10 given number minus base value will give us plus 6. Unit digit will be square of deviation that is plus 6 square is equal to 36. Tens digit will be addition of given number and the deviation that will be 16 plus plus 6 will give us 22. The answer would be 3622. Okay tell me what is the square of 20? Yes it is 400. So how is that possible that square of 20 is 400 and square of 16 is 3622? There is something wrong in this calculation. Okay, tell me what is the square of 30? Yes, it is 900. What is the square of 31? It is 961. What is the square of 32? Yes, it is 1024. Carefully observe the table. If we do a square of any number greater than 31, the square will always have 4 digits in it. And if we do a square of any number less than 32 or till 31, the square will always have 3 digits in it. Here 16 is less than 32, so the square of 16 will have 3 digits in it. To calculate square of 16, what we will do? We will add 3 from unit digit to the tens digit that is 22 plus 3 will give us 25 and we will write 6 from unit digit as it is. So the final answer will be 256. Second category. Find out the squares of numbers close to 100. Let's take an example. Find out the square of 106. Step number 1. Deciding base value. Yes, clearly the base value will be 100. The deviation will be subtraction of base value from given number. That is 106 minus 100 will give us plus 6. Unit digit will be square of deviation. That is plus 6 square will give us 36. And tens digit will be given number plus the deviation. That is 106 plus 6 will give us 112. So the final answer will be 11236. Let's solve one more question. Find the square of 98. Deciding base value is very easy now. So the base value will be 100. The deviation will be minus 2. Why? 98 minus 100 will give us minus 2. Unit digit will be square of deviation. That will be 04. Why 04? Because if we do a square of any number greater than 31, the square will always have 4 digits in it. Then for the tens digit, the tens digit will be 98 plus minus 2 which will give us 96. 
so the final answer will be 9604 last category find out the squares of numbers close to 1000 let's take an example find the square of number 1013 given number is 1013 base value will be 1000 deviation will be plus 13 1013 minus 1000 will give us plus 13. Unit digit will be square of deviation. Square of 13 is 169. And tens digit will be given number plus the deviation. 1013 plus 13 will give us 1026. So the final answer will be 1026169. Let's take one more example. Find the square of 999. The base value will be thousand and the deviation is minus one. Unit digit will be square of deviation, that is minus one square, will give us one. But why double zero one? Observe the table. If we calculate the square of any number greater than three hundred and sixteen, the square will be having six digits. And if we do the square of any number less than three hundred seventeen, the square will always have Five digits in it. Here, the number is nine nine nine, which is greater than three one six. So, the square will be having six digits in it. For calculating tens digit, we'll add given number in the deviation. Nine 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 plus minus one will give us nine nine eight. So, the final answer will be nine nine eight zero zero one. I hope you like the video. Thank you.